let me talk about what is a SAS macro and what is the usage. SAS macros are actually used for two purposes. One, the most primitive use is find and replace. So what do you do if you have to make changes 10 times in the code, you define at one time and you change it there so that it reflects into all other section of the code. I'll demonstrate that same when I'll explain you how do you define SAS syntax very soon and I'll show you how do you debug it. The next and more advanced usage of SAS macro is the SAS function kind of situation. This is little advanced and this actually can show you that how do you apply fair bit of intelligence and you can think of like if this is what is the output, if this is what is the situation, do this, otherwise do this, all those kind of situation. So these are the two usage of SAS macros. Now let me explain you how do you define a SAS macro and how do you decode it. There are multiple ways of defining and I'll show you some of them and I'll also show you how does it work like. So let me show you method one which is like percentage let and you define the macro variable name and the value it gets used. There are other syntax also like percentage global or percentage local, global effects everywhere and local is just inside the function. The best option would be to show you the usage that you know how do you do you use it. What you need to understand invariably whenever you want to use SAS macro you put an ampersand sign and you put the macro variable name it gets decoded. Let me show it to you. So here there is just a small SAS data set that I have you know I created this data set. just five observations and these are the three columns. Now if you think of let's say I want to do proc print I want to do proc contents. So I had to actually like you know put proc content data equal to check data equal to check here both places. Let's say next time I want to do it for sas self dot hard data set I'll have to make change here as well as here. What you need to understand I am right now showing you just you know two places suppose if this was written you know 15 places so everywhere you would have gone and changed the name of the data now let me show you how sas macro helps here here once you define and then you can run these two everywhere it will get replaced let me show it to you so you are running like this what it did it defined a sas macro by name data nm data underscore nm and then when you are running these two codes, it will actually get decoded here because I have used ampersand sign it will get and dot it will get decoded as check check both the places. Let me show it to you. So if you look at it printed you know and it did the contents you look at it became work dot check. Why? Because I defined data nm as check here. Now this time if I define sas help dot heart and I run the same code this will work for sas help dot heart let me show it to you so both the places because I have huge ampersand sign it actually printed this time sas help data set so what you need to understand if there were 10 places or 15 places I would have to make changes it is much easier to define it at one time and use it so that's the first method of defining SAS macro. Now let me show you another methods also. Another method is like using let command, you know select command, it's a SQL kind of command, selects x into, you put a colon and x macro from data one and what happens, whatever is the value that you are putting gets inside this x macro, x underscore macro. Let me show you an example. So here you know I created this check data set and in this check data set if you look at the maximum age is 45. Now let me go here let me put it this proc sql no print select max age so what it is doing calculating maximum age into I put the colon and I am putting this now this becomes the macro variable from check so when I run it 
it created a SAS macro by the name if you look at by it created SAS macro by the name max underscore age how do you know what is the value that it is taking what you can do you can actually put percentage put and this you can directly put inside it will just produce a log in in the log window so you put percentage put and here I'm using max age dot so it will get decoded so let me just show it to you so let's see that it has put the maximum age in check data is 45 which we had seen also because if you go and take a look that's what it is if you look at this is pretty handy you know how because that way you can get number of observations suppose if I would have just used count I would have got number of observation in this data set I would have used maximum I got maximum I could have used min I could have got minimum value inside the data set and created a SAS macro so that's another method of defining SAS macro and in fact you will see it how I am using it through workout example as well now let me show you the third method which is again uh, very useful that method is called calls input the syntax of the calls input goes like this that you use calls input here you put SAS variable name and here you put macro variable name then it takes data from this SAS macro SAS variable and puts inside SAS macro let me show it to you because then you will understand it pretty well what you need to understand this is pretty handy because this way you can get you can pass the information from SAS general SAS data set into a SAS macro variable data set in, in it into a SAS macro variable let me show it to you so here in the check data check data set I put underscore and underscore 3 so it is essentially talking of the third row and I created data underscore null underscore so that's not going to create any data set I am using calls input name underscore one name so what it will do it will take and put Rhea because if you took take a look row third has this it will create a macro variable and the moment I use underscore name underscore one which is this the macro variable dot it will get decoded like this so if you think of this using calls input I pass this SAS data set variable value into a SAS macro variable let me show it to you so look at I it has got error let me just see what is happening here so in fact it was not taking where syntax here so I change it to if so now if you run it it is running fine so it has run fine you know you don't see any error here and you can see like you know it read all the five observations now if you l do here underscore name m percent name underscore one dot which is the if you look at because I have put underscore and underscore equal to three which is the third one it will put Rhea here let me show it to you right in fact I can show it to you that you know I can change it probably you know like if I put say name underscore name equal to 2 it will put LX so it what I want to prove here that it is taking SAS data set value you know a value of a particular variable from SAS data set and passing that to a SAS macro so if you look at and let's say if inside I would have defined it 10 times everywhere it would have got replaced by the new name which is now like LX right so that's how you passed SAS dataset value into a SAS macro variable